Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everybody's off to a great start. Uh, so today, uh, I guess my craziness is kicking in, or however you want to put it, but uh, I was going out to finish building the motor on the yellow 73 Super, and I decided, hey, I haven't looked at Marketplace in a couple of days. I'll just take a quick look before I go out. Sure enough, I see something that catches my eye. I thought I'd already seen it, so I mistyped the price, but uh, it said 68 VW bus, $1,200, but the picture was clearly a split window. So I clicked on it, and uh, it didn't look too bad at first. Uh, it said it was a 68, but it's actually a 61. It's bullet nose, glass tail light. Uh, it's probably a later 61 because it's a low hinge uh, cargo door bus. So I'm checking it out. I'm thinking 1200 bucks, And it's three and a half hours away. It's in Mississippi. I'm like, that ain't bad at all. And I'm like, I don't need it though. You know, <laughs> I mean, I really don't. Um, and I'm like, well, I could sell it. You know, the typical stuff. So anyway, I kind of talked myself into it. And I'm like, it said it was posted a day or two ago. I'm like, somebody's probably already got it or it's just really bad. So I was like, nah, why not? Just message the guy. <clears throat> so I messaged him. A few minutes later, he messaged me back and said, yeah, I still got it. And I said, hey, can, can I give you a call or you call me? So he sends me his phone number. I call him up and uh, I said, hey, you know, how bad is it? And he's like, oh, it's really rusty. Well, everyone's definition of really rusty is obviously different. My 59 convertible, if you've been following with me for a while, that car, same thing, talked to the guy on the phone. He swore up and down that thing was rotten from one end to the next. If you've seen the videos on the car, clearly it is not rusty. Uh, a couple of spots in the floor pans and that is it. So with that, you know, you kind of got to take it with a grain, like a grain of salt or however the right wording is for that. So talking to him, he's like, oh, I'm driving home from church because today's a Sunday. And uh, he's like, I can take pictures of it for you when I get there. And I'm like, how are the frame rails, the main frame rails running down it? You know, they're like C-channel. And uh, he's like, oh, I'm pretty sure they're really rough. And I'm thinking, I don't think so, looking at the rest of it, but you never know. Then I asked him, I said, you know, is it a bench seat or is it like two bucket seats in the front? He's like, I'm pretty sure it's two bucket seats. Oh, we might have us a walkthrough. Then he's like, I'm pretty sure that the back seats are in it too. So to me, it's just getting better and better. And uh, so half an hour later, he sends me the pictures of it. Sure enough, it's a walkthrough. Both front seats are there. No middle seat, no back seat. Um, dash doesn't look like it's cut but it's hard to tell because there is a radio in it um, but he sends me pictures of the bottom of it and it it looks pretty sad uh, frame rails definitely have some rust in them uh, so I call him back after I get the pictures and I said hey man you know what can you do for me on the price even though it's cheap you got to see I do have to drive and get it and now we're talking frame rot right that gets a lot deeper into it when you start talking frame rot. So, he told me I was crazy for wanting to even try to save it. He wanted to chop the front of it off um, and put it in the shop. The guy that he got it from had it for 30 years and practically gave it to him. So, he didn't really have anything invested. Anyway, come down on the price some. Um, I couldn't pass it up for what it was, but it is... It is pretty rough. So right now I'm on the way to go pick it up. It's in uh, Columbus, Mississippi. And the last bus, the 64 that I still have, that one was in Tupelo, Mississippi. So this one's another hour south. So with that, my madness seems to continue. Go pick up more stuff than I need. And I definitely have a full workload right now. But when a split bus pops up for a good price, how can you not go get it? And it's a bullet nose, glass tail light, walkthrough. I mean, come on. So, stick with me, and let's go get us another bus.
Here in these pictures, you can see where the bus had sat for the last 30 to 40 years. All right, so I'm about five minutes down the road. I'm picking the bus up and uh, got the first, first excitement of the ride back. I had a feeling that these doors might pop open on this bus and this one decided to come open on the road about that far which fortunately nobody going the other direction and they were latched in there good so I didn't I didn't really mess with it but you can see it's kind of sagging a bit so I'm gonna have to get me a strap get in here and uh, get these two two drivers doors the guy bungeed these these are pretty solid but this one I'm gonna have to run a strap from that door over there to this one on the inside and tighten it up because I got a long ride home. I still got three and a half hours to go and uh, we don't need that one flying open on us any, anymore. So I'm going to get to it and if anything else happens, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Hopefully not. Right. So I just noticed the reason you can see how far down this door is sagging and she's lovely. You can see the frame rust right there. It's bad. Then they cut out the rear torsion, which you can see the spring plate would have come out right here and added all this from a Corvair. It's got the torque flight trans and motor and everything out of there. And old school fiberglass. There we go. That'll save somebody something on the way. But it is another walkthrough. Gotta have some positives with all the negatives, right? But check this out. So I'm back here getting the straps out and I'm looking at it and I'm going, man, that motor looks awfully crooked. It was horizontal with these panels, you know? And now you can see tighter, further apart. <clears throat> I know you can see that, how this window bottom runs uphill and the windshields are growing this way because the body is actually twisting so that's what caused that door to pop open uh, the stuff I get myself into <clears throat> but it's still a split 61 so you got to be grateful to get them in the front seats are actually in awesome shape I this one was off to double check that it had the encode tag and I just flipped it forward here when the door popped open I didn't want it to blow out and I had to jump in and out real quick so all right, I got this strap running across and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it to the door handle here on this side and tighten them together, keep them from blowing open while I'm driving home with it. Trying not to cause any more damage. All right, let me get to it. All right, so you can see I got it hooked from there to there. straps at the front, two in the back. And then what I did, I got it ratcheted there and then I took this, looped it over and around, tied it off. That way, if this was to break loose, this should catch that before it went past the fender line and the same with the door here, which it's pretty dang solid. I have to keep an eye on it. Okay, back on the road. Oh yeah, and I took out the passenger walkthrough seat, put it in here for safekeeping because we all know those are not easy to come by and probably worth more than the rest of the bus. And there ain't no rust in those, believe it or not. So, all right, let's fire this thing up and get out of here. All right, so as you can see, the bus and I made it home 
in one piece, thank goodness. Um, whew, what a day. <laughs> the things I get myself into. So I'm probably just going to wrap this video up right here for now because in order to get this thing off the trailer, I'm going to have to empty the stuff out, probably brace it, get the wheels freed up. All four wheels are locked up. And I got way too much going on right now to deal with this thing. Um, just spur of the moment. So stay tuned. In the next, I don't know, couple, three weeks maybe, I'll get a chance to get this thing cleaned out, really take a good look at it so you guys can see <sighs> the wonderful decision I made to get this thing. Um... And on that one, I guess we'll just clean it all up real good, pressure wash it, get all the junk out, brace it up, get it off the trailer, all that kind of good stuff. And maybe by then, once I've really fully processed the purchase of this, maybe then I'll have a better understanding as to whether I'm the one that brings it back to life. Or if I just go, you know, you just took on too much. You need to let somebody else pick it up and take it from here. I don't know. So, stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, join me next time while I enjoy a big bowl of buyer's remorse, probably. <laughs> All right. See you guys on the next one.